Hi students, Logan Phillips here, Professor P, your guide to computers and technology. Uh, today we're going to be working in the SimNet environment, specifically with the Microsoft Office PowerPoint, PowerPoint 2016 Project 3-7. Right, so let's open up our project, see what files we download from SimNet, and see what we'll be working with today. So you should have downloaded th two files from SimNet, one the Improve It Project 3-7 instructions, and one your start file, which is your first name, last name, announcement-03. So if we open up our instruction file, we can see that we have a few different outcomes that we're going to be working with today. Now this builds off the th previous guided and independent project for Chapter 3. So we're going to be creating some custom theme colors, modifying slide content with some smart art. We're going to create and print note pages, apply appropriate transitions, apply animation effects, use the presentation view, and prepare a kiosk presentation. So kiosk presentations are sort of unique in the PowerPoint world. If you've ever been to a conference or something where computers are actually just going perpetually uh, with the timing and everything on little computer screens throughout, that's a kiosk presentation. So this is an unmanned presentation they're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and move my PowerPoint instructions to the side. Please remember that I use a second screen, so you need to print off the instructions to be able to follow along with me. Uh, whatever step I am on, I will try to tell you I'm on step 5, step 6, step 7a, and it's up to you to keep up with those. Uh, the easiest way to do so is to print it off, have it in front of you. All right, so the, for this kiosk presentation, it looks like we're doing the big announcement, how you can influence how your audience receives it. So let's go ahead and start off with doing a file backstage view, file save as we're going to choose to put this in my desktop and I'm going to leave the name the same and everything I'm going to hit save this again keeps me from having to accidentally upload a unfinished file it allows me to organize myself a lot easier going from the desktop instead of going from like my, my documents folder or something of that nature All right, at this point in time we have done steps one and two we are now on to step three we're going to create a custom theme colors using the name announce we're going to change five colors as shown in the following table. <clears throat> now, when working with custom themes and stuff, you have to realize that this is an addition to all the themes that Microsoft has given you at this point. So if you have a company that has set colors, or if you have something like that, this can be really helpful with working on not only this presentation, but all future. So if a company has, like TCC, blue color, and it's a very specific shade of blue, we can actually make a theme with that specific shade of blue that can be applied to all future presentations. So go from your design tab, we're going to go into the variance grouping, we're going to choose our drop down, we're going to choose colors, and we're going to do a custom color at the very bottom. Now for our colors, we're going to set this as text background dark 2, text background light 2, accent 1, accent 2, and accent 3. So dark 1, there we go, dark 2, we're going to do a red 38. Uh, so how I've done this is I've chosen to go to the text background dark 2 and I'm choosing to go to more colors and I'm going to do a custom color here and it's going to be red 38 green 19 and zero blue I'm going to hit OK next I'm going to go to text background light 2 and I'm going to do more colors again and I'm going to set this one as a red 255 the green is 230, blue of 193, and we'll hit OK. And accent one, more colors, it's going to be red 255, green 153, and blue zero. And accent two, more colors. 124, 26, 26. And hit OK. And then accent 3. More colors. And I'm going to change this one to 204, 
236 and 255. So you can see now I have some custom colors here that's going to be going on. And we're going to name this announce for the name. Make sure you spell it right. And hit save. So we've now changed the colors of the whole presentation to something that's a bit more custom, a bit more unique, specifically for my needs. So we're going on to step four. <clears throat> we're going to make the title slide more distinct by displaying slide one. And we're going to apply a bold to the title and subtitle. So I'm going to click on the title, hit my shift and my subtitle. I'm going to come to my home tab. I'm going to choose bold. I'm going to choose title font is 66 and big to 60, 96. So let's click on the title again. We're going to change this to a 66. Then we're going to highlight just the word big and we're going to change this to a 96. Now we're going to modify the color of the title choosing the placeholder again. We're going to choose orange accent one lighter 40%. So let's go to color we got orange, so it's orange accent one, and lighter 40%. Now let's go to the subtitle. We're going to choose the whole thing. We're going to make this into a 32 point. And the word U, we're going to make into a 48 point. <coughs> All right. Now on step 4E, we're going to resize the title placeholder on the left so the text fits on one line. So let's go from the left of the placeholder and drag it over up until the point where all the text jumps to one line. There we go. Next on step 5, we're going to use the existed bulleted text to create a notes page. So display slide 2. We're going to go to the notes pane. So let's go down to the bottom, drag up the notes pane a little bit. And we're going to copy the existing bulleted text on the slide and paste it into the notes. So let's come up here and highlight all the text. Hit Control C, come down to the notes and hit Control V. And let's go ahead and hide the notes page one more time. Next, we're going to go to slide two, making sure it's selected, and we're going to modify and reposition the bullet to text. We're going to place a bullet to text with three words, fear, dread, and resistance. So let's just go ahead and kill off this. We're going to delete it. We're going to type in fear, enter, dread, enter, resistance. Now the reason we do this is because we want the least amount of words possible on our PowerPoint presentation. You don't want paragraphs, you don't want long sentences. If one word will do, one word is all you need. Less is always more in PowerPoint. Next on step 6B, we're going to resize the body placeholder and move it to the lower right. So, let's drop this down. And actually, I did this a little wrong. I'm back up on to step 6A. I'm going to delete the whole bulleted points. And I'm going to come back up here and do it with the yellow letters. Fear, dread, resistance. And let's drag this down, resizing it to the bottom right hand corner. So we're done with step 6B. We are on to step 7. We're going to insert a smart art graphic to show that change can be received as both good and bad. So I'm going to unselect that placeholder. I'm going to insert opposing arrows layout. So let's go up here to insert. We're going to go to the illustrations grouping. We're going to choose a smart art. And I have a arrow that I'm looking for. And it seems like that's probably going to be a process. Let's just find it. Looking for the opposing error arrows. Here we go. Converging, diverging, opposing. There we go. And we're going to hit OK. 
Text one is going to be good. Text two is going to be bad. And then we need to resize this as a whole, not just the individuals. So we're going to select on the outside. We're going to drop this down a little bit, move it into place. And it looks like the bottom of the arrow points at our hand, top of the arrows at best of the top hand. And we need to shrink it down a little bit here. There we go. So this looks pretty close to what they have in the uh, instruction file. Uh, we are on to step eight. We're going to animate a text box on slides three through five. We're going to display sli slide three. Uh, we're going to select the do text box. There we go. And we're going to apply a wipe entrance animation. So animations tab, we're going to choose a wipe entrance. And we're going to modify this from left, effect options from left. And we're going to do this as a repeat for the do text boxes. On slides four and five. So let's go to slide four, the do. We're going to do a wipe. Effect option from left, slide five, the do. We're going to do a wipe. Effect options from left. <clears throat> Next, we're going to apply the gallery transition to all slides. So I'm going to go up to my slide one, transitions tab. I'm going to choose my gallery transition, which I believe is in my exciting gallery. So second row, one, two, three, four, five, six columns in. And then I'm going to modify this and apply it to all slides by transition tab, timing group, apply to all. All right, we are now on to step 10. We're going to review the presentation and speaker notes using the presentation view. And we're going to modify the transition by entering three seconds for after seconds and apply to all changes to side. So in our transition slide or tab, on the right-hand side in, in the grouping, we're going to choose an after. And we're going to modify this from seven seconds to three seconds. There we go. And we're going to hit this apply to all. All right, so if we view this in display set or a presentation, we should have a nice slide modification. Bounces through each one. Easy enough. The dues are popping in. Okay. So everything seems to be working so far. Hit our end of presentation, we're back in. All right, so next on step 12, we're going to set the slideshow for a kiosk presentation. Now, to do this is pretty simple. We're going to come up on our ribbon. We're going to go to the slideshow tab. In the setup group, we're going to choose to set up slideshow. Now, we can do a presentation by <coughs> speaker if we're the ones actually talking about it. But we want to do a browsed at kiosk in full screen. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to do all slides. Slideshow monitor should be automatic. That way no one's having to click through. Uh, we don't want to run with narrations or anything because we don't have any. And we're going to hit OK. So browsed at a kiosk, full screen. And step 13, we're going to choose save and then submit. So let's go backstage view, file. We're going to choose save, close it down, and you're ready to present this uh, PowerPoint presentation up to your SimNet website for grading. All right, guys, that's uh, the Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 Project 3-7 for the McGraw-Hill SimNet environment. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I'm here to help. Uh, reach out to me at Logan Period Phillips one at TulsaCC.edu. Send me an email. Give me a call at 918-595-7485 or come to my office at 8132 at the Northeast Campus. Have a very fruitful day. Bye, guys.